um, the mover of this motion for bringing again to the floor of the House of Representatives a motion that has to do with the treatment of passengers in and around our airspaces. And Mr. Speaker, sir, I'd also like to thank my colleagues for reading out um, the policy statement as driven by NCA and what it is, in fact, that they're supposed to do, the National Civil Aviation Agency. But Mr. Speaker, sir, aviation is a global thing. And in other countries, they also have this. But what they've managed to do in a country like Canada, for instance, Mr. Speaker, is come up with a bill that is called the Passenger Rights Bill. Now, what the Passenger Rights Bill does done is that it has sought to criminalize non-adherents to the policies that are herein suggested by that policy paper. Mr. Speaker, sir, it says what is expected. They're expected to give you accommodation if there's a 12-hour delay. They're expected to tell you the reason for the delay. They're expected to speak to you. They're expected to give you back your compensation or the option of flying. But Mr. Speaker, sir, it doesn't say those regulations don't say what happens if you do not do those things. And so you find out also that the NCAA is so cozy with the airline operators that the people who are supposed to regulate the airlines are very friendly with the airline operators and therefore they can barely regulate these airlines. But Mr. Speaker, if we were to come up with that, and I've already spoken to the sponsor of this motion, the Passenger Rights Bill, then in that bill we would now be able to create different penalties that would act as a disincentive for what it is that currently goes on. Mr. Speaker, the National Civil Aviation Agency, the NCAA is charged with that responsibility. And so there is an arm, an organ of government that is supposed to do that. But year in, year out, time in, time out, we still have these conversations. So I have also brought an amendment, Mr. Speaker, that in the amendment you shall read and I've forwarded it to you, that we should also speak to the NCA, the committee should engage with NCA, as well as the Consumer Protection um, Agency, South Council, in the hopes that they may strengthen, because there's already different kinds of regulations. So it's not about the Consumer Protection Council creating regulations. These regulations are there, but it's about the enforcement of these regulations. So I've also amended it to say that aside from the airline operators, I, I would think, not the airline operators, but the NCAA, who is charged with the responsibility of oversight of these airlines, as well as Consumer Protection Council, should engage with the um, committee in the hope that there is some measure of, regulation, of compliance with the regulations as already stipulated by my colleague. Thank you.